my soul smile wider than my face ever could. My perfect Tetris piece, my jigsaw puzzle. To the one who makes my life larger than I ever could. My everlasting fire, my non-linearity. You are the stillness of my soul, my one constant. Your love is fierce, but silent. It does not seek attention. It hides in the nooks and crannies of every day's meanderings. Your love is caring but honest. It does not delight in delusion. It is worn in, out in the open on the sleeves of your sweater. I am here today because I have lost track of where I end and where you begin. I want to learn with you, to laugh with you, and to live with you. I am here today because I want to marry you. Will you marry me? Turned your speakers, and I saw you holding the door and smiling that way to me. I knew that our lives were going to be intertwined in one way or another. You are one of the kindest, most intelligent, and most honest person I've ever met, and I admire you deeply for that. When I was thinking about this wedding day and about everything that has happened to come together here, I was thinking that if anybody had asked me a long time ago, to imagine the perfect partner, the perfect day, and a perfect life for my future, I would have never been able to imagine something as wonderful as this. When it came to being with you, and to choosing whether to marry you or not, that's probably the easiest choice I've ever had. And it's probably because it never felt like it. It just from the beginning felt like it was fate. 
and we were meant to be together. I am making the choice to join my life to yours. It is the easiest one. I love you with all my heart, now, and I will love you tomorrow, and I will love you the day after tomorrow, and every day onwards. And I will choose to be with you, and to listen to you, and to get to know you, today and tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and every day afterwards. You may kiss the groom. <laughs> City, and that's where I learned that Amal used to do, or I don't know if you're still doing, uh, risk management or something. I was like, this is beautiful. <laughs> He's marrying the biggest, most amazing risk in her life, in his life, <laughs> and this is going to be amazing <laughs> because I think uh, your life, Amal, with with my, will be the most exciting um, adventure on earth and beyond. In the 25 years that I've known Amal, I've never seen him more content, more happy, and at peace with life than he is when I see him with Myra. And it's incredible for me. Myra, you look incredible. You salsa into our life, uh, added a bit of picante to it, and I genuinely can't remember life without you anymore. It's amazing. I love you guys. And I cannot wait for you guys to have a dozen kids <laughs> move to the suburbs, right? Do that thing, right? Do it quick, do it quick. Get a big ass house, right? I get a big ass house, and then obviously one with a room above the garage for me to grow old in. <laughs> Thank you. like to raise a glass and toast to Myron and Amal. May they have many more happy nights of spreading cheer, many more globe-trotting travels, and many more years of happiness. <laughs>